Okay, so this is my toiletry bag. I got it from Victoria's Secret. As you can tell, I love leopard. So, yeah, let's jump right into this. So, it has uh, one zipper going across here. Let's open that up. Okay, so it opens up like this flat. It has an extra little flap here. And it has a little hook here that you can hook onto a door or something if you want to. So I'm going to be starting with that first. So in here I just have a Johnson & Johnson's little travel size, emergency little um, band-aids, things like that. I have a Pure Eyes um, redness relief, things like that. All shapes and sizes. Um, Band-Aids. I have a little travel size of C by Giorgio Armani. I believe. Is it? Yeah. Uh, this is my favorite perfume, so I have that. I have a little travel size toner. And I have a travel size um, acne wash by Neutrogena. everything in this little pouch here going into this right here I'm going to start with this side so the first thing I have is this right here I got this little pouch from Dollar Tree it's by LA colors so it just has the same thing that I had um, talked about sometimes I, I sometimes I put this in my purse so it has um, Excedrin in here, travel size Excedrins packs. It has an Amope nail care oil. I have three perfume samples. I have a Aqua di Giora by Giorgio Armani, my mom's favorite perfume. I have a Candy Yum Yum by MAC. Very Irresistible by Givenchy. I have those. I have a little travel size wet and wild eyelash adhesive. I think I'm good on eyelash glue. I have them everywhere. <laughs> and I have a travel size little um, dental floss. And this last thing is this right here. I think I showed you in one of my purse videos, but I went ahead and blamed this. I kind of put some stickers on it and stuff and a gem. And this is a sewing kit. And this is a little sewing kit, just in case I need it. And the last thing I have in there is a little tweezer to put my lashes on. I have a little sample thing here. It has some, um, they're like makeup remover little applicators for your eyes. So I have some of those and I have some regular um, Q-tips. I have some cotton swabs, some cotton rounds to take my makeup off. So I have some of those. I have a Sephora beauty amplifier. And so it this is kind of like a dupe for the Becca backlight. I do own that, but I have this one too, so they're very similar. This is the e.l.f. Prep and Hydrate Balm. I like this to put on before makeup. I have an e.l.f. eye brightener just in case some powder if I want to use this one. I really like it. I have a Sephora brush cleaner. It's a mini. In this I have some bra things. You know those bra things to make it look like a razor brat kind of bra thing. Some extra hair ties some nail care and some bobby pins, some safety pins. Everything in here. I have a Lancome double action eye makeup remover. I have a little brush here. I think I got this from Forever 21. So it's just a little brush with a mirror. It's in a rose gold, very pretty color. I have a um, Bath and Body Works Japanese Japanese Cherry Blossom Shower Gel. I have an Elf Lip Exfoliator. 
uh, in the sun bath and body works little mini body cream a little loofah an elf cleansing cloth makeup remover travel size a little sample of max cucumber uh, setting spray when they came out so that's everything on this side okay on this side I have a Colgate max fresh it has the little brush strips in them so I'm going to be using that one I have a little travel size toothbrush pink I have a little travel size Mac fix plus this is the photo finish primer water by Smashbox L'Oreal infallible pro spray I have a Victoria's Secret um, tees travel size I love this it so good I have a Venus a Venus waterless um, by Gillette this is really cute um, I found this at five below it has the little gel in here it has a little pad and it just um, you can shave with this and doesn't need water or anything so this is pretty cool so I've used it once already and I think it's bomb so I really like this I have an elf hydrating gel melt cleanser to take my makeup off I have a travel size fireball cinnamon whiskey I haven't tried this yet so I'm gonna try it during my trip this has 66 proof I'm gonna try this out I have a travel size Bacardi coconut I'm gonna be trying out it's a VI Poo air wick in rosy Starlet. In case you know you need to go, you need to go. I don't want anybody smelling my business. I have a Bath and Body Works Cool as a Cucumber sheet mask. I have some eye pads from Dollar Tree. I have some Elf Mineral Infused Face Primer. An Elf Brush Cleansing Wipe. A Becca Backlight Priming Filter. Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I have a Blackhead Remover. I got this at Dollar Tree, I think. The Charcoal one. I have a Travel Size L'Oreal Hydro Genius. I really like this. I have the full size, so I'm just going to be keeping a little Travel Size. And I have a little travel size little mirror. I don't know where I got this from, but it's really cute. It just sits up on your desk and it has a double side, a regular and a magnifying side. So I really think this is cute. I've had it for a long time, but I don't know where I got it from. It's really convenient. So that's everything in here. So I have this little bag here I got from Walmart. Um, really cute this is like my nighttime things so I have a cute little uh, leopard clips my, my favorite hair clip the Bath and Body Works I'm a unicorn it's bacterial hand gel it's in it's in the scent so very sweet I have a dove beauty cream uh, renewed hope in a jar by philosophy it's a moisturizer I just have my lip balm. It's a night cream. I have my e.l.f. I have an e.l.f. illuminating eye cream. I love this stuff under the eyes. It's so amazing. I have a clean and clear Advantage acne spot treatment. I love this when I have an emergency. So, okay. And I have a Glam Glow super mud clearing treatment mask that I got for my birthday from Sephora so I'm going to be trying that 
and that's everything in this little pouch here. Last but not least is my brushes. I got this from a seller from Macari. Um, you can find it on Morphe's website and now they have a silver blinged out one that I... <laughs> yeah, I knew they were going to do that. Anyway, so this is where I keep my brushes. Um, this is the Jaclyn Hill um, collab. I had bought, got the brushes from someone else. So, yeah, and it came with the case. So, opens up like this, and these are my brushes. I also have a sponge from, where's L'Oreal? This is L'Oreal sponge. I really like it. So, I washed all my brushes last night. So, all my brushes are nice. And I have some BH Cosmetics. Uh, the, what is it called? The Sculpt and Blend number two set are amazing. I love their face brushes. They're so good. If you haven't tried them out, I highly recommend. So I have a couple of those. I have a blush brush in the number 133. And I have a BH Cosmetics 124. It's what I use for bronzing my face. And I just have this to carve out my brows. This is from the Eco uh, Friendly Brush Set in green. So it's really good. Love BH uh, Cosmetics brushes. I'm contemplating getting another set. I just I can't decide which one. <laughs> I have some Elf Cosmetic brushes. Um, this is the blush brush. I love this to set underneath my eyes. My setting powder. It's amazing. And this one is the Pointed Powder Brush by Elf. I love this to put powder all over the face. It's very nice and fluffy. It's amazing. And have this one by e.l.f. I don't know what it's called, but it's a flattened little brush. I like to use this for contour. It's just perfect for that. So these are all... Oh, this one is just an e.l.f. brush too, I believe. Yeah, this is the e.l.f. e.l.f. defining eye brush. I really like this to get in the crease. So I really like this one. So these are um, all of the Morphe ones that I have. I have the Morphe M439 brush to buff out um, foundation with. Love it. I love this for buffing out foundation. It's amazing. I have this Morphe 5, Morphe 518. And this is what I use to um, buff out underneath my eye, the my bottom lash line. This is what I use. I have a Morphe Elite 22 brush. It's, it's, this is the perfect crease brush. It's so nice and I love it so much by the Elite Collection. I have this one for highlighting. It's the Morphe M510. So I love this for highlighting. This is the Morphe M504. It's a beautiful long brush to buff out the crease. And I have, this one is the Morphe G2 brush. I love this for concealer. It's amazing for that. And these are random ones. This is the Sedona Lace EB21. It's what I use for my inner corner highlight. Love that brush. This is a Wet n Wild brush that you find at Dollar Tree. I love it for buffing out the crease. It's very nice. This is a, an Up and Up brand by Target. This is a great highlighting brush. So I love it. It's supposed to be comparable to that um, Anastasia brush. Their highlighting brush. It kind of looks the same. I don't know. I don't have that one so can't compare it too much. But I, I really like this one. It's really nice for putting highlight. This is a Wet n Wild brush just to set my eyeshadow. It's perfect for that. And I have a Morphe R37, just a little another crease brush to buff out. And so I have the Sigma eye shading brush, the E55, just to pack um, color on the lid. I have a MAC 242 brush for putting on shimmer shades. 
It's, I love this brush so much. It's really good. And this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills number 12. I use this for brows. So it's pretty good for that. And those are my brushes in this little container here. Yeah, so I just stick my little blender right there and close. So yeah, all my brushes are protected in this little container here. I really like this. So yeah, that's everything you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.